What's up y'all, it's Akira and in today's video I have a Megan Thee Stallion recreation for y'all. I decided to recreate her Girls in the Hood song cover look because I thought it was really cute. And if you know me, then you know I'm a huge Megan Thee Stallion fan. Been listening to her since I was in high school and I'm a junior in college now. So I figured it would just be right to make this video for y'all. If you wanna see how I did this look, just keep on watching. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a huge thumbs up, comment down below, and yeah, let's just get started. Hey guys, it's Akira, and in today's video, you already know what this video is about, baby. Do you know you're Megan, baby? Um, yeah, so uh, I was supposed to start this video earlier, but it's getting kind of late. I'm trying to speed through this part because it's just hair. But anyways, I'm doing the hair part. Girl, my hair looks crazy. <laughs> I'm gonna blow dry it a little more and then I'm gonna let you guys see because right now, I look like a reject Jackson 5, like. Okay y'all, so this hairstyle, I made it way harder than it really needed to be because I tried the hair again like the next day after that and it was way simpler. But basically what I did, as you can see here, is I sectioned my hair out. I left the bang in the front. Not the bang the bang And left the part that I want to put in the ponytail in the back. Um, I need my sister's help for this, so that's why you're seeing more than just my hands um but yeah so i put the part that was going into the ponytail up exactly where i wanted it on my head and then i left the other part of the bayang out so that i could straighten it and add clippings to it but yeah y'all can just see what i'm doing here i can leave a better tutorial in my description because this is kind of just a trial and error thing <laughs> I'll also leave a link to the ponytail that I use in this video, but as you can see here, I'm just clipping it on. Um, I ended up like putting a donut around my own hair after this just so that the drawstring would have something better to grip onto. And then I wrapped it around with the hair as you can see me doing here. And then I wrapped my own hair and then I was done. <laughs> <gasps> I just sat on the ponytail. <laughs> okay guys, so as you can see, I got my I got my Megan here on my head. Um, and so now I'm about to do my makeup. Okay, I don't know why I was doing all that babbling, but anyway, I'm actually getting into the makeup now. So I'm using my um, Rihanna Fenty um, primer. I forgot which one it was, but I'll put it in the description. Anything I don't remember, description box. Anything I can't think of, description box. Anything, just anything, description box, period. Um, but I'm taking my primer and I'm rubbing it into my skin. And then I'm starting to do my eyebrows and I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in the shade Ebony. Boom, I remembered that. And I made sure to do my eyebrows thinner because Megan likes her eyebrows thin. I don't. But she does. So I'm like, you know, I got to dedicate myself to this look. So I made them a teeny bit thinner, as you can see here. The main reason why I don't like doing um, chit chat makeup things is because it ends up making the video way longer than I want it or intend for it to be. Because I'll just talk, 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 talk. Plus, um, what else? I want you guys to be able to follow the look just in case, you know, some people use these videos as tutorials or whatever. And I don't want you guys to have to sit here and watch me do my eyebrows for like forever, like while I talk. I just, I don't want y'all to have to do that. And then also, I like to listen to music when I do my makeup. It really just gets me going. It sounds funny, but I'm serious. Like I'm listening to Megan right now. And I've been listening to her since I was in high school, y'all. I'm, I'm a junior in college now. I've been listening to her since I think my junior or sophomore year of high school. Been jamming ever since. She even liked the girl's photo. I even danced with her on stage. <laughs> Period. Um, so that's my girl, that's my Aquarius sister. Um, but yeah, I really like her. I've been supporting her for years, so that's partially why I want to do this look. Okay, y'all, so that is exactly why I don't do chit chat tutorials slash recreations, because I'll just talk and talk and talk. But anyways, Y'all just saw me conceal my eyebrows with some concealer, obviously. And so now I'm using my matte book um, by the Crankcase eyeshadow palette. And I'm using this like brown shade that I just showed y'all. And I'm putting that on the like crease of my eyelids and above that crease, basically just to add that color there so that when I start blending the pinks and the maroonish colors, it looks like 
much smoother, basically. And so now I'm going in with my Modern Renaissance palette and I'm taking this pink color and blending that in the same spot that I put the brown, really smooth. And then I went back to my matte book palette and I used a maroon color and began blending that in the same place as well. Basically just to create this whole like nice color that she had in her eyeshadow. Um, and also so that it looks smooth. You know, if you just use one color and you just blend it there, it won't look as nice as you want it to if you blend a few colors and you know make sure they all look nice and cohesive then after that I went and used this white shadow from the same palette and began packing that on my lid because you'll see what I'm gonna do next I'm gonna take some concealer and put that on top of that shadow basically just to get the pink color that I'm gonna put on over that to pop and as you can see I did my eyeshadow in this kind of like wing effect because she has like a cut crease so I was trying to create that same thing which is why I'm using the concealer and so on and so forth um, so yeah if you want the same effect and you're doing this look just make sure to create like this whole wing thing that I did here I basically just followed the natural outline of my eye and that's how I was able to do that after I did the concealer I packed on some more white shadow and then I went and packed on this pinkish shadow that was in my matte book eyeshadow palette. <laughs> After that, I went back and added any like finishing touches to the shadow. And then I applied my black eyeliner because she had some in her photo as well. Um, however, I did mine kind of thin just because her eyeliner wasn't very thick. And uh, yeah, then I applied my lashes and then got started with the rest of my face. So for my foundation, I used the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in the shade 356. I just blended that in with the brush and then a beauty blender as well. And then after that, I applied my concealer, my LA Girl Concealer in the shade, I don't remember, but it'll be in the description. And I put that under my eyes, on my nose, and um yeah i blended that in then i applied my powder and let that bake while my face was baking i contoured my um cheekbones and my nose and my jawline with a darker eyeshadow yes i know i'm not using real contour don't come for me but um yeah that's just an easy quick, cheap way to do it. After I was done with that, I lined my lips with my Kat Von D liquid lipstick. I'll put the exact shade in the description. And then I went to my eyeshadow palette and <laughs> picked up some pink shades and packed that onto my lip. Um, pretty much just because Megan had a certain kind of like pink gradient lipstick thing going on and I didn't have all those colors. So I had to make do with what I had. And then after that, I was brushing off my powder and also recording some TikToks. Follow me on TikTok at Akira Culture. It's the same as my YouTube channel. And yeah. And the last few things I did to finish my makeup were add some black eyeliner to my waterline. I just used like a pencil black liner, um, not like a liquid one. And then I also added some highlight to my cheekbones, under my eyebrows, on my nose. I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. Um, I think like the deeper one. I'll put more information on that in the description. And then I also applied some lip gloss to my lips. And yeah, I was done with my makeup. So this is the final look. I went and fixed my hair a little bit more, but yeah, I didn't do the little blunt pony with the curls that Megan did because my ponytail is synthetic. And I kind of just like the longer pony on me. Um, and I didn't know if this hair was going to curl properly, so it was a bunch of reasons why, but everything else, the look is the same. I made the top and the shorts, put a video right here if y'all want to see. Uh, I sewed them all by myself out of bandanas. Got this jewelry from the hair store, real cheap, like that, because I wasn't going to buy a real gold Cuban link right now, because I'm a college student, and we don't got money like that. <laughs> but yeah, I um, hope y'all like this look. I think it looks real cute. I'm going to add a few more shots. A boom boom bam 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 if only I could dance like Megan but I can't. I hope y'all like this video and if you did make sure you give it a huge thumbs up and comment down below and I'll see you guys later with another video.
Bye.